Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss percentage. Percentage is basically a way of comparing quantities we know that percent means 100 and basically the percentages are the numerators of fractions with denominator 100. Now let's discuss the meaning of percentage. We already have seen that percent means 100 and this percent is represented by the symbol this and it means hundreds that is if we say that 92 percent marks this means that 92 marks out of 100 or we can also say that 92 percent is equal to 92 upon 100 or 0 0.92. Now we have percentage when total is not 100. Now if the total items do not add to 100 then to find out the percentage of item we have to convert the fraction to an equivalent fraction with denominator 100 suppose that a student obtains marks 20 out of 50 now here as you can see that the total is not 100 instead it's 50 let's find out the percentage of marks obtained by the student now this can be done by three methods Let's see what is the first method of doing so. First let's write the fraction. So that would be 20 upon 50. Now we multiply this fraction by 100 upon 100. This would give us 40 upon 100. So that is equal to 40%. That is the student obtains 40% mark. Now let's see the next method. Next is the unitary method. In this we have that the marks out of 50 is equal to 20. Then we need to find out the marks out of 100. And this would be equal to 20 upon 50 into 100. So this is equal to 40. That is the student obtains 40 marks out of 100. Thus the percentage of marks thus obtained is 40%. Now the next method. Let's consider the fraction again. That is 20 upon 50. We need to convert this denominator 50 to 100. So for this we multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 2. So this is equal to 40 upon 100 which gives us that the marks obtained by the student is 40%. So any of these three methods can be used to find out the percentages when total is not 100. Next we have converting fractional numbers to percentage. Now we know that the fractional numbers can have different denominators. When we need to compare the fractional numbers we should have the common denominator. And it is always convenient to make the denominator 100 to do the comparison of the fractional numbers. That is we convert the fractional numbers to the percentages. Consider the fractional number 3 upon 5. We need to convert this fractional number to percentage. 
So for this we multiply this number 3 upon 5 that is the fractional number by 100% and this comes out to be equal to 60%. So this fractional number 3 upon 5 is converted to the percentage that is 60%. Next we need to convert decimals to percentage. Like you consider the decimal 0 0.95 we need to convert this to percentage. So for this we multiply this decimal by 100%. So this would be equal to 95 upon 100 into 100% and this is equal to 95%. So this decimal is converted to percentage that is 95%. Next we discuss converting percentages to fractions or decimals. Consider 3%. Let's see how we write this 3% in fraction. In fraction it is written as 3 upon 100. Then in decimal it is written as 0 0.03. We should remember one thing that parts always add to give a whole. That is when we add all the parts that form a whole. we get 100%. So if we are given one part, we can definitely find out the other part. Like suppose, in an office, percentage of girls working there is 30%. Then, the percentages of boys can be find out by 100 minus 30% which is equal to 70%. Next we have fun with estimation. Percentages help us to estimate the parts of an area. Consider this figure. We need to find the percent of figure that is shaded. For this, first we need to find the fraction of the figure that is shaded. Now as you can see that this figure has 5 parts and out of these 5 parts, 3 parts are shaded. So the fraction that we obtain is 3 upon 5. Now we convert this fraction to percent by multiplying this by 100%. So this gives us 60%. That is we say that 60% of the figure is shaded. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of percentages.